A baby. This might be the first time a uh, wonderful dog has guest starred on Dan Housen's show. It? Yes, believe so. Yeah, well, she's with me 24-7. Like, when you see my uh, podcast, yes. sh- sometimes you might actually think you hear a little snoring in the background, and that would be her because usually she's under my feet, like when I'm doing the podcast. But there we she's have always it. with me, yeah. If Dan Housen had a yeah. dog right here, you would uh, flop it up too, but... I, I rare, rarely, like... These, it's been a while since I've since I'm not been with her, like especially over the pandemic and. Yes. Oh, I, actually, I I went down to like Florida for the Hall of Fame ceremony and you know a couple of other things, but other than that, I I haven't been apart from her in quite a while. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Who would want to leave the, that wonderful dog? I don't. No one <laughs> exactly. All right, let's move on. Speaking, you brought up this Hall of Fame ring. Yeah. Dan Housen has a few questions. Now we're on to Dan Housen's questions. Okay. How does Dan Housen become a member of the NWO, D Generation X, and a two time Hall of Fame ring winner? Mm. You must find the secret. I got to be honest with you, man. I just don't think it's doable. What? Dan Housen can do yeah. it. Yeah. Listen, you have I, the power. Just say, I yeah. mean, if anyone can do it, you can, but it just, woo, wee. What are the chances of that? Well, Dan Housen was five. <laughs> Say, yes, you're in the NWO and you're in uh, Degeneration X and yeah. Hall of Fame ring. I'll send it in the mail. Well, all you got, all you have to do is just dedicate your life uh, 110% uh, to pro wrestling. Uh, just live it, breathe it, eat it 24-7 and be in the right place at the right time. And uh, let me see what else. Um, It'd just be really, really talented. Oh, so Dan Housen will probably be in this in about a month. <laughs> probably he's got all those things. He's been doing everything. He'll uh, be an NWO Degeneration uh, X member and maybe three time Hall of Famer. Yeah. You know? Yeah, man. It's just like, you know, you have to have all the, the proper ingredients, man. But like, just to, being in the right place at the right time, man, like just being fortunate, like, has a lot to do with it, too. Because yes. there's a lot of talented people, a lot of great people out there just don't end up getting their break for some reason or another. So it's a I bit mean, of luck. Some. Some luck. I mean, but you have to have all the other ingredients too. Yes. And then the little dash. The yeah. Little dash of luck. And then the stars all have to be in alignment. And then then you're set. Luckily, Dan has in his powers, so you can just make those stars align for him. All right. Yes. All right. Let's see. Dan Housen has a hard, one more hard hitting question. Let's go. Bring it. All right. Since you I'm doing so good with the hard hitting ones. Yes. Thus far. You are friends with uh, Vince Triple H McMahon. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So Dan Housen ordered a medium sized Ding Dong Hello t shirt. They sent him a youth medium. It does not fit. It is a crop top. So Dan Housen would like you to uh, text him and tell him to send Dan Housen the right t shirt size. Or he'll be yeah. cursed. Tell him he'll be cursed if he does not. <laughs> I'm going to do it right now. Yes, exactly. And he's going to be like, what the fuck are you talking about? But we should put him no swearing. You get the free pass, but he does not. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. Is it, is, how's the, is there any languages? I just figured it's very evil, very. Oh, no, there's uh, Dan Housen's no swearing rule. But okay. we should check the sponsors. They said it's okay this time. Okay. I'm very sorry, everyone out there. Oh, Sometimes okay. I just don't know what gets into me. We shall use CGI to All edit right. it out. All right. Yes. There we go. So we have this T-shirt uh, problem being handled correctly. Let's see what he says. Yes. Thank you very much. Dan Housen appreciates that. Uh-huh. Yeah. Dan Housen is, uh, what is it? Taking up too much of your time already. Is there anything else you'd like to plug or uh, talk about? Obviously, you have your wonderful uh, new podcast, Pro Wrestling for Life. Dan Housen was just on it. So go listen to that. Ah. Uh- yeah, just just the show, Pro Wrestling for Life. Uh, you get, I think you probably get everywhere you get your show, right? Yes, probably. I don't. You think yours is more accessible? You probably can get in podcast networks and wherever you listen to podcasts. Yeah, all those places you get, you know, Spotify, all that stuff. Yes. Like I don't yes. want to leave anyone out, so I won't name them all. Yes. Um, everywhere. You no, know, but we're out. The show drops on Thursdays, and you know, uh, you can watch it or listen, and. Okay. Um, yeah, man. One of my favorite episodes is the one you were on. Well, thank you, Dan. Yeah. Had a wonderful time. You're one of my favorite guests. Well, thank you very much. Dan, as you would love to come back on sometimes. No CGI. 
<laughs> we'll see. Yes, we could do yeah. it. We'll watch another match. Mm -hmm. Wonderful Dan has a match. And yeah. Have a great time. We'll watch one of your matches too. Maybe we'll find the El Generico one. Yeah. I saw a clip of it. Like, actually, I've seen the match. Um, I take the super brain buster, Dan oh. Housen. Brain buster. Yeah, exactly. Now, how is that? Whew. Yes. I'm gonna lie, man. So I'm I'm afraid of heights. Oh, so he's down like a lot of people know that about me already. I'm afraid of heights. Uh like so if like it wasn't for the like I would never go and like try stuff out before the show, like diving, yeah. like climbing the top rope. Because it's just like if there's no crowd making a bunch of noise and feeding off that energy, I'm just like, no, thank you. So uh um what was I saying? Uh taking the brain buster was quite terrifying. Oh yeah. So yeah, it was very it was a little bit scary. Yes. I'm not gonna lie. The, it was yeah, it was the anticipation was worse than the actual uh yes landing on my head on the top turnbuckle. Sounds <laughs> quite terrifying. Also, note if any promoters watch this and decide to book us as a tag team, no ladder matches. Okay, yeah, no heights. You don't like them? We do not like heights. Neither of us. I don't, but like I said, like I was able to, I was able to overcome my fear of heights for the sake of the pop. Ah, yes. Yeah. Wonderful energy that comes from the audience. From the old, the good old pop. Very good. All right. Well, Dan Housen, thank you for coming on this show. It has been quite wonderful. You have been great, excellent, if you will. And yes. I just feel really bad because your earlier questions, I was have, I was having a hard time, you know. Coming out of the box with those questions, so. Wow. They were nonstop. Boom, yeah, boom, boom. Man. Yeah, I should have studied. That's okay. We had uh, wonderful answers from you. Yeah, okay. Yes. Uh, that's very nice of you to say. Very nice, very evil of you to yeah. say. Yeah, twice. Threw that catchphrase <laughs> in for Dan. <laughs> yeah. All right, Dan has shall throw up. It's wonderful. Uh, too sweet, if you will. People seem to like this. And also, one more thing. Yes. I've got two words for you. Suck it, Housen. Ah! All right. Love that, Dan Housen. Good night. <laughs>